Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to have a look at the modifications I've made to my lights. I'm going to have a look at my headlights that I've painted black. I've switched out most of the bulbs inside. I'm also going to look at my LED pods that I've added to my bumper. We'll look at the rocks lights that I've added. Also gonna have a look at my tail lights. I've switched up the harness and as well as the light bulbs so that the configuration of the lights changes. We're also gonna have a look at my indicators. For my headlights, I'm still using the stock housing as I like the way it looks with the truck. I also like the daytime running lights that come with it. With the daytime running lights being stock, Toyota usually focuses on longevity with their lights and therefore I know that these will last a long time. I've taken the housing apart and painted the chrome pieces black which I think made a huge improvement to their look. As the stock low beams are halogen bulbs and come with a projector lens that is designed for halogens, I had to stay with halogens for my low beams. The light output of these stock H11 bulbs is not great. Therefore, I changed them out for the Philips H9 bulbs. These have a much higher light output, but have a shorter lifespan than the H11 bulbs. Although the light output of these H9s is much better, I'm still not fully satisfied, and I may retrofit some LED projectors into these housings one day. Here we have the H11 stock light bulb. We can see it only has the single tab at the bottom. And here we have the H9 Philips, which has a single tab at the bottom. But it used to have the tab at the top as well, that I've had to shave away to be able to use it in the H11 connector on the Tacoma. For my high beams, I'm running the Micro Extreme LED bulbs from VLED. These have a very high light output and work fantastic for the high beams. Some people say that these can be run in the low beam projectors, but I would not recommend that, as they do not maintain the correct pattern and scatter light everywhere. These are from VLED. They are a high visibility amber LED bulb. They are brighter than the stock halogen bulbs that were in here. Although the stock ones weren't bad, I changed them out to the LED bulbs because I had changed out all my other turn signal bulbs to LED. And the halogen bulbs are not as instantaneous as the LEDs. So there was a slight delay between when the LEDs lit up and the halogens lit up. I'm very happy with the output of these. My pod lights in the bumper are from Black Oak LED. The center ones are spotlights to throw the light far, and then the outside ones are floodlights, which scatter the light a bit more to have some more light on the side of the trail. These are not the brightest LED pods on the market, but they are very efficient and bright for the price. I also have had no issue with their reliability. The harness that was provided with them was also very practical and made the installation a breeze. I have been running these Miso Custom Ultimate Turn Signals for almost four years now and still love them. The black color is a great replacement for the chrome turn signals and the light output is great. My truck originally came with chrome taillights and as you can tell by now I am not a fan of chrome. Therefore I bought a used pair of black taillights. 
The light configuration of the stock harness is also not great. Therefore, I upgraded to the Miso Customs Total Stage 1 kit. This kit comes with the full replacement of the bulbs, upgrading them to LEDs. And it also comes with a harness that rearranges the light pattern to have the red lights working full time as running lights as well as brake lights and uses the reverse light location for the reverse light and the turn signal. I love the new configuration and I'm glad an easy solution was out there. I also installed some rock lights as I received a set of six lights as a secret Santa gift. I used two under the hood and I installed the other four under the truck, one in front of each wheel. The lighting under the hood is very great and very helpful whenever you need to work under the hood, even during the daytime. And the lights under the truck for night wheeling, it does add a cool lighting. That's it for today's video. For more details and a link to the products discussed in this video, please see the description below. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or would like to see any specific reviews, please leave a comment below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.